Hey guys, what's up? We're back to some Summoner's War content. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, today I'm just doing a little account overview to show you guys what I've done since my last stream, I guess. Stream is the last time I really showed off any of my stuff. Um, I got a few new units. I've leveled up some stuff. I've awakened quite a few monsters, so let's just hop into it. So Spectra has become a 6 star now, um, I plan on using Spectra for Trial of Ascension as well as Dragon's B10. I also have 6 starred Beretta for TOA obviously, and if you see some of their stats they've changed quite drastically from what I've had them at, uh, Spectra on Speed HP HP as well as Beretta. Um, Beretta's defense could be a lot higher, but you know, Beretta's a work in progress right now. Let's see, who else? Um, I have awakened my Eladriel. I've messed around with Eladriel a little bit. The runes aren't aren't, aren't plus or anything, but I was just screwing around. and The stats are quite high for plus 6 and plus 9 runes, so I'm pretty happy happy with Eladriel. I plan on working, on, working with him in the future. My Mav is on uh, HP, Defense, Defense, um, and I've used him on a floor or two of Trial of Ascension. I did get a wound hack from a scroll. I am building up the Wind Pirate Captain for a team for giants that I plan on using eventually. I have also started building a Hemos because there is one floor in Trial of Ascension Hard that I would like to have a Thrain for, but sadly I do not have a Thrain. So Hemos will be my replacement for the Plague, the uh, the two dots, which is awesome. Uh, Basalt, Basalt really hasn't gotten any love. Basalt's sitting on some you know, some extra despair, despair runes. Uh, Basalt really needs to be 6 starred and max leveled for him to be, you know, what I want him to be. Um, I'm leveling and scaling up a Fire Frank for my Copper Bulldozer Amesity comp, which I plan to use in Guild Wars. Let's see, uh, I was very happy recently when I pulled myself a Chisun. I now have all three of the Sky Dancers, if I can get them, yeah, all in frame. The Water Fire and Wind Sky Dancer. Um, yesterday I pulled an Orochi, which will be going into one of my future GB10 teams. I'm just gonna play around with him and see if I can make him work. I really, I really need um, a damage dealer or a daughter, I guess, for the boss stage uh, of the Giants B10 run, because up until then I could run Julie, Sigmaris, Megan, and Bernard, and skip uh, having a healer or a cleanser. As long as I have some way to kill the boss, and Orochi will be my my um, boss killing machine, I guess, to dot him up a few times. I mean, I also pulled the Water Horus, uh, Queb, not even going to try to pronounce it because I'm going to mess it up, and the Wind Rakshasa, but Wind Rakshasa is, is pretty much nothing to me. Um, the the LD scroll that pulled Wound Hack came from Trial of Ascension, as you can see here, I beat Trial of Ascension normal. Um, completely, which is awesome. I'm super. Ex I was super excited because this was my first team way clear. The boss stage was a lot easier than I had thought it'd been. Um, I think I would have been able to clear Trial of Ascension last rotation if it hadn't been for Floor 90, which was Artemail, because uh, that floor completely destroyed me. Uh, TOA Hard, I'm currently on 53, which is the Bounty Hunter stage. I've tried a bunch of things. Uh, Wound Hack is definitely seeing a lot of love in Trial of Ascension Hard so far. Um, ton of HP, kind of low defense. Uh, I've been using him to just stun everything in his path, which is pretty fun. Uh, he's a really fun monster to play around with. I, I do plan on 6 starring him eventually. He will probably come after Chisun as well as a few other monsters. Other than that, uh, I've been, you know, I've just been farming, leveling, getting XP, you know, trying to get my runes up where need be. Sigmaris is now on Violent. These are his stats. Uh, his crit damage is a little lower than when he was on Fatal, but he is on Violent Blade with some runes that will be upgraded eventually. I do have a better um, slot 6 blade rune that just needs to be plussed. Because this, I mean, although this rune is nice and it's a 6 star rune, uh, until it's plus 15 it's not going to be where, where I want it to be. And I mean, if you look at the stats, the stats are pretty good for plus 9 and plus 12 uh, runes. So I'm very happy with where he's at right now. But again, a uh, little crit damage would be nice. A little bit more speed. I'd like I'd like Sigmaris at 150. 
uh, if possible. I know that's you know that's aiming high for an attack crit damage attack build, but it would be very nice. Um, and so Julie got her runes back, which is which is awesome because Julie has performed very well for me recently in Arena and Guild Wars. She now has the 157 crit damage that Sigmaris had previously. I don't think I've changed Megan too much. Oh yes, Megan got uh, Veramos's shield set because Megan benefits a tiny bit more from the shield than Vero does. Vero got a little bit tankier on a swift energy build that also needs to be plus 15 And Bella's still on violent, on a violent set that's, you know, a violent broken. But it's fine because Bella's at plus 13k HP. So right now I've been building up for uh, Dragon's B10 mainly. I'll show off a run right here. I don't know what I was doing last time in Dragons. I was trying to, I was trying to screw around with that, uh, Julie. Julie Comp. But typically the team I've been using um, is just sub sub Bernard for Spectra and call it a day. We're gonna let this run through really quick. I mean I say really quick. I believe it's a two minute thirty second run if it's successful. I'm a big fan of this team. Um, fairly simple progression from Giants since I've six starred all these units for Giants P10. The runes are not where I would like them to be and I will not be farming too much of dragons um, you know in, in the near future or within the next week or so because the success rate is about 80% I'd like to say uh, and although that's it's decent enough to start uh, farming for five and six star violent runes with half decent subs you know I'd love to have violent runes with decent blue or blue subs like a, a violent rare rune with two good subs would be just amazing but uh, until the success rate is higher you know I'm not I'm not gonna go sinking all of the rest of my crystals into dragons not to mention your monsters don't necessarily need violent violent is amazing violent is quite the luxury but your monsters don't really need violent in order to progress in the game you know they just want it <laughs> they want violent a lot uh, and the only reason I was able to put my Sigmaris on Violent was because I did get the legendary 6 star uh, set of runes um, that was, I believe that was the advanced pack 2 uh, during Christmas time. So I, I was lucky enough to get Violent runes with very decent uh, attack and crit rate and crit damage subs. So I was able to put Sigmaris on that. Which is cool because sometimes in, in Guild Wars he will just go off and it'll just be really fun. So now now I have two two violent units in my team. Right there you see Sigmaris uh, take three turns, which is really nice. Um, occasionally, if I think Spectra's accuracy may be too low still, uh, I believe it's only like 18 or something. Um, but if, if Spectra lands the slow early on and it hits both the towers and the dragons and slows them and reduces their attack bar, I can usually get the dragon to about half HP before the immunity comes up, which is awesome because you want to be able to do as much damage um, before immunity as possible because when the immunity comes up you get no more dots, you uh, the armor break is gone, and see uh, Spectra and Belladion have both died, and now my team's going to wipe. And it sucks because I get the dragon pretty low, but this is usually the scenario uh, in which that happens. And honestly, this is just a matter of speed. Um, my, my units have pretty good damage, but like I said, I'd like Sigmaris on 150 speed. Megan would be nice if she was over 200, as well as Vero. Vero is at 199, but he could always use more speed. His accuracy is not a problem. Spectra's accuracy is a huge problem, because if Spectra does not land the slow and the attack bar reduction together, then the, uh, the run will likely wipe, because the dragon will get too many turns, and the towers will dot us to death. But I've been working with it, uh, working with that run, that team, on uh, quite a few runs. So I think it's going to work uh, successfully eventually. Um, again, I do have runes to plus on some of my monsters, like Sigmaris, and I do need to find some accuracy without losing too much HP on Spectra. But that sums up uh, pretty much all my my progress on this account. I do have a lot of monsters in here, as you can tell, 4 star max level. Those are just for world boss. For the most part, um, some of these monsters will become uh, food, maybe, eventually. Um, the game game loves giving me these wooden brownie magicians lately. I've got two of them in storage, so I might build him eventually just to get some monsters out of my storage. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed my account update, um, my progress so far. If there's any other kind of videos you'd like, any guides on anything that I've done so far, or perhaps something I haven't, I, I a little a little hesitant to do guides on something I haven't uh, haven't mastered yet. But uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, like like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.